you ever wanted to make a set of glowing Coca-Cola bottles for your room or living room or anywhere? Well, they're very simple and easy to make. They take a little while, but they're totally worth it, and I'll show you how. Okay, what I used is Henry Weinhardt's orange cream soda, because if you notice, once the bottles are clean, it looks almost exactly like the Coca-Cola bottles. And it has a screw-on cap, which is really handy. So, fill up your sink with soapy warm water, put your bottles in, and basically just leave them in. I would suggest do this uh, before you go to bed. Just leave them in the soapy water overnight. Now, I noticed some other people online on their videos using the Jones bottles for their uh, Coca-Colas, and I could see why, because, you know, if you look at these, they have the perfect shape. What I don't like about them, though, is that if you look at the, um, the bottle tops, they look just way too modern and, and huge for um, a Coca-Cola drink. So what I'm doing here, and you don't have to do, because you could just use uh, food coloring, is I'm just going to use, let's see, berry lemonade for the quick revive. Uh, what is this one? Strawberry lime soda for the juggernaut and the green apple soda for a speed cola, which speed cola is my favorite. Um, if you don't want to buy a bunch of Jones drinks just to use the liquid, then all you have to do is use a combination of food coloring. Now experiment outside of the bottles to find the color, or like how many drops of each food color you need, but it, you don't need a lot. Usually it's just, you know, maybe three drops at the most to affect the water. Okay, so while we're waiting for that to be ready, I basically went ahead and printed out my favorite Perca-Cola labels onto some sticker paper or label paper, whatever it is. And basically, it's just got an adhesive backing. Uh, these are my favorites because I'm an old school kind of girl about uh, uh, zombie Perca-Cola drinks. So I picked the original four. Now you can pick whatever ones you want, but the description uh, at the bottom of this video has links to these labels in particular. So if you want ones that are already the perfect size, go to that link. Um, they include the top of the bottle, like the bottle cap labels, and they also include the main bottle labels. Now, if you don't have it and you're trying to figure out the right size, these are about three inches by three inches. Uh, you don't want anything bigger because if it's too huge, it just makes the bottle look bad. I've seen some really big labeled ones on YouTube and I just don't think they look as accurate. So we're not going to do that. Now, uh, it's a pain in the ass to cut these out perfectly round, but the, the more precise you are, the more uh, the final result will look good. So there's that. And as an extra bonus step, if you want, I went to the art store and I got basically different enamel colors. These are enamel paints. They're only about a dollar each um, in about the correct sizes. I know I'm going to have to do a little bit of mixing because that yellow is not quite the uh, double tap orange. So basically what you're going to do, if you want to do this step, is you will get enamel paint that is the correct color as all the drinks and paint the bottle caps. Okay, so after your bottles have been soaking for, you know, a couple hours, overnight, whatever, um, the soap should have done its work and these labels should just come off super easily. If they don't, uh, you probably need to put them in for a little bit longer, but you don't, you'll notice for the most part, they kind of like fly right off. Now, if you have any remnants like this, you just need to get a little bit of a wet sponge and just kind of wipe the rest of it off. You get a perfectly clean bottle, which is great. Now, occasionally you'll have um, like a, the date stamp on it. Now, hopefully the soapy water will take off this. If it doesn't, you could try a little bit of, oh, there we go. See, in this case, I got lucky and it came off with a sponge. If it doesn't come off and it's really particular about like staying on that bottle, just use a little bit of nail polish remover and that'll it'll just fly right off. Now, what we're gonna do, and this is the extra step, is notice how it has this printed label. Now, I did make those labels that are bottle cap size to replace it, but what you're left with is a gold bottle cap. Now, some people actually might like this. You could do gold Coca-Cola uh, bottle caps for these, or you could do what I'm going to do in uh, just a couple seconds, which is uh, use that enamel paint that I just mentioned and paint over these. Now, there's a couple ways you could do this. You could take them off, because these are screw off. Uh, these will just screw right off. Or you can paint them on the bottle. 
Now what I would kind of recommend, because I don't want you uh, messing up the paint once it's on there, is to get all these filled up with the colors that you want. Uh, don't put the sticker on yet, and go ahead, cover these up, and paint the tops with a, a nice fine paintbrush. Let, these, uh, let the paint dry for an hour or two, just to make sure it's really dry, and then place the bottle cap uh, labels on top afterwards. And I'll show you in just a second. And here are the final results for those bottled drinks. Um, everything looks good, colors look right. I didn't want to waste the orange cream soda, so I put it in the Jones drinks, because that, that orange cream soda is quite good. Um, so now, we are going to see about the body labels and about painting these tops. Here's a quick little tip. If you want to make sure that the body labels get put on exactly like the same height as each other, just take a piece of tape, hopefully one that you could see a little bit better than mine. I only had clear tape with me. Get a piece of tape and line up exactly where the tops of those labels will be. That way when you apply them you'll always know you'll have the same height for all the labels. Okay, all the body labels are on. Now, for the interesting part. Okay, and after a bit of mixing and a bit of mess, we got the colored bottle caps. Now, see what a big difference this makes, as opposed to just having those black Jones bottle caps? I think this will be a big improvement. So, after these dry, we are going to put on the small bottle cap stickers, and then we'll be just about done. After which, I have a little extra bonus step for anybody who wants to make their Coca-Cola bottles really amazing. Okay, so we've got all the bottle caps and labels and everything set. So you could probably stop it right here and have a set of awesome looking Coca-Cola colas, but we're not going to stop right there. At IKEA, I got this dioder. So basically, the dioder functions just like a tap light, although it doesn't use batteries, so the nice thing is you could have this on a bookcase or on, up on a wall or wherever the hell you want it, and it could be on all the time. So I'm going to take these lights and these drinks, and I'm going to make them glow. Now I know some of you purists are going to say, well, the drinks themselves don't actually glow. But the mystery box and the drink machines themselves do glow, so I figured this is, you know, a little homage to that kind of stuff. So these are pretty awesome. They will always glow because they have a light switch. Um, and basically, you can put these wherever you want. Now, to be safe, since they're the exact diameter as like the bottom of the bottles, you probably want to add something sticky, maybe some double stick tape or even super glue if you want this to be permanent and um, affix the bottom of the lights to the bottom of the bottle. Just to make sure they don't fall around all over the place, especially if you live in any area that has earthquakes or any kind of shaking, uh, just to be safe. But there you have it. Some awesome looking Coca-Cola glowing bottles. They're very easy to make. This takes a little while, but uh, I think the time's worth it. So until next time, thanks for watching.